today we're going to talk about uh, setting up a SEP system after install for DC thrusters. So when installing a new DC SCP thruster system, we have to go through a scanning process such that the PJC panel is aware of all the devices in the system. So when you first turn on the PJC panel after installation, you'll get this message here. Set up do not match system check mark for auto setup. Um, so we want to go into the menu screen. So we hold this middle button for three seconds. That'll get us into the menu screen. We see we have setup highlighted here. We can toggle over for the different options. Uh, for this procedure, we want setup and we're going to hit the check mark button here. You see the check mark there. So we hit this button there to go into setup. Um, we have system devices, hole calibration, joystick calibration. Once again, we toggle through our options with our stern joystick. System devices is what we want here. We'll hit the check mark button again to go into system devices, and it's asking for a pin code, which is 9999. We toggle the joystick to port to enter 9, check mark 999. And this gets us into our system devices. So during installa installation, we have recorded our serial numbers of our uh, automatic main switches and our PPC 800s or PPC uh, 520 or PPC 820. Um, so we have our main switch here. Uh, it is serial number 1319. That happens to be the main switch we installed in our bow thruster. So we're going to go into this main switch here and alter that uh, to bow. Um, so we're going to hit our check mark button to go into the device. This is our edit button. We want to edit. So we're going to hit that again. And then we can toggle with our stern joystick to get our different options. Bow, stern, bow stern, stern starboard. Uh, these options are for uh, catamarans uh, when you have uh, two thrusters perhaps in the bow. We don't want to use those options. We want stern, uh, excuse me, bow. So now we've set it to bow. We want to hit the backspace button to get into our previous screen. Now we're going to toggle down to the second main switch, serial number 27277, which we have in our stern. So we're going to repeat the process. Hit our edit button. Set it to stern. Check mark. And we'll back page. Now we're going to toggle with our stern joystick to starboard to get to more devices on the screen. PPC, uh, serial number 102724. That happens to be the PPC we have installed in our stern thruster. So we're going to go in and edit that. Our location bow, hit the edit button to stern, check mark. Other options here. Uh, direction. We can uh, change the direction that thrusters running in in case the props or the gear leg were installed wrong. Uh, function is SEP. That's uh, proportional thrusters and that's what we have. Uh, we do have some options there. SRP, SRVP. Those are retractable thrusters. We have standard tunnel thrusters so we're going to set to SEP. And we can also set the max output. Um, so being a stern thruster, supposing it was overpowering the bow thruster, we could tune that down if we wanted to, but we typically leave them at 100%. So now we have that PPC set for stern. We'll scroll down. Scroll down. This PPC, serial number 103050, uh, we now need to set to bow. 
hit the edit button, scroll over to bow, hit the check mark button, back page. We have that set to bow now. I'm going to scroll a little further. Uh, here's our RCRS-2U. That's our radio remote option. When we go into that, you can see that we can adjust power for the radio remote. So when you're using your radio remote, we don't necessarily have to get full power out of the thruster, which might be a little bit too much and uh, uh, jerk the boat around a little bit. So this can be adjusted accordingly. And we just hit our back page button to our main page and we're ready to go ahead and run our thrusters.